hi guys welcome back to my channel yes it is i karen denine back with another video and yes i have been tagged honey i have been tagged once again by the lovely mrs v thank you mrs v i am honored to do this tag and the name of this tag is called the last time tag so, if you're interested in seeing me do this tag, then you stay tuned. Okay, so this tag consists of 15 questions. And of course, you know, a girl can't see anything without her glasses. And I am going to be looking down periodically so that I can read the questions. So, let's get started. Okay, so question number one is, when was the last time you changed your toothbrush? The last time I changed my toothbrush was about two weeks ago. I change my toothbrush every six weeks to two months. I do have a sonic toothbrush, so I simply have to change the heads on them, and um, I change them out every six weeks or so, somewhere between six weeks and two months. Question number two is, when was the last time you lied or stretched the truth? The last time I lied or stretched the truth. Hmm. Well, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I hope this person doesn't watch my video, okay? I did have a friend that um, wanted to come by to see me and... It was just one of those bad days for me. And instead of me just saying that it was a bad day, I said I wasn't home uh, when I was at home. It was just one of those days. I just didn't feel like being bothered with anybody. Uh, you know, we have those days. And I'm sure we've all lied about that. So, um, yeah. That's, what, that's my lie. Number three. When was the last time you got angry? Y'all. <laughs> the last time I got angry was about three days ago. And I hate to go into this story because I mention my issue about my back pretty much in every video. But nobody knows, just from seeing my videos, what I actually go through. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> nobody knows exactly what I go through um, since I've had my back surgery. It has been the hardest thing that I have that I have ever had to do. So, to keep from having to tell this whole story, I, I got upset with my case manager because I've been trying to get my long-term disability started since February. And after being on my job for 22 years, this is the first time I've had to uh, be out because of an injury like this. I've had carpal tunnel in the past, and I think I spent nine months out, and that, that was probably about 10 years ago. Anyway, they have drugged their feet on reviewing my claim and taking care of everything, and I just, I just had it. I was up to here, and I gave it to them. I gave it to him. I am so frustrated and I'm still not being, I am still not being paid to this day. And it's only been by the grace of God that I have made it this far with the help of my boyfriend and my family to help me get through this time and me having a little bit of money put back that I've been able to make it this far and I've been out since August so you can imagine how upset I got with them when they were telling me 
that they were still reviewing my case since February. Since February. So when I mention my back, it's not looking for sympathy. Trust me. I'm just, this has been the hardest thing that I have ever in my life have to go through. And you may see me move a little bit in my, my videos, but you haven't really seen me in action, which is why a lot of times I don't even do the decorating um, collaborations and things because most of my things are out in the garage that I would need and I can't lift and can't carry. And so it's not that I don't want to be a part of that. It's just I cannot do certain things at this moment. So. Yeah, that's the answer to that question. On to question number four. It is, when was the last time that you cried? Happy tears or sad tears? I would say the tears that I cried was three days ago when I got upset. Number five, when was the last time you felt sad or depressed? That would be today. Um, I came back to YouTube. I started my channel about seven years ago. And I, I've been watching the videos over the last seven years. I've still been coming onto YouTube, but not putting out any videos. And it was a way for me to do things and communicate with the outside world from being in the house most of my day. I do get out. I try to get some, some uh, physical activity in every day, but I'm not out very long. So when you're at home here by yourself, most times, I mean, I, I started YouTube again for that very reason, just to have an outlet. And I've enjoyed it thus far, and um, and I plan to keep my channel going. But that was the main reason why I came back onto YouTube and making videos, so that it can take my mind off things because of me not being able to physically do the things that I really want to do. Question number six: When was the last time you had a really good time? Um, the last time I had a really good time, my mom and I were able to go to the movies to see Wakanda. I didn't think I was going to be able to see the movie because I cannot sit for a very long time. And, um, uh, the theater that we went to just happened to have the, uh, the reclining seats, which were so comfortable, by the way. And I was really able to enjoy the movie. I was so concerned that I wasn't going to be able to sit through it, but I did. I was so happy about that, that we went out to eat afterwards. And then after going out to eat, then I was exhausted and hurting, but it was well worth it. And I got to spend time with my mom. So um, it would have to be when the movie Wakanda came out. And we went during the day while everyone was at work. And I think the movie had been out for like two weeks by the time I went to go and see it. Number seven, when was the last time you feared for your life? Hmm. Um, about three weeks ago. Uh, my doctor changed my pain medicine and um, I had taken it in the middle of the night. I was hurting and that morning I felt like I couldn't breathe. My heart was racing. I felt nauseated. I felt like I was going to pass out. I ended up going to the emergency room. I thought, guys, that I was out of here. I thought I was having a heart attack. And they pumped me with fluids. And uh, I started feeling better. 
um, you know, with God's grace, I was able to come home that same day. But that was the worst feeling of my life. I thought I was gone. I would never take the medicine that he gave me. Those were some of the side effects of the medicine. And when I tell you, and I didn't know it at the time until I came home and I read the side effects because I had never taken the medicine before, I would never take it again. The worst feeling in my life. Question number eight. When was the last time you prayed for someone else? Every day. I mean, I not only pray for myself, I pray for all of my friends, my family, there's so much going on in today's world. It's so much going on. Uh, just uh, last week, my granddaughter's school, she goes to middle school. Her school was on lockdown because there was a shooter or a, a threat of a shooter being at the high school nearby. I'm telling you, this world that we live in, you have to stay prayed up. And it's not just for you, it's for all the people around you. Because when something happens, sometimes it's not coming directly at you. It could be for the person next to you. So, yes, I pray for myself and I pray for others. Every day. Uh, number nine, when was the last time you washed your hair? This morning. Uh, that's the great thing about having short hair, bald head or whatever, is that I get in the shower and, um, yeah, uh, when that water hits it, sometimes I just let it get wet and sometimes I'll go ahead and shampoo it. And today was the day that I shampooed it. Number 10, when was the last time you shaved any part of your body? Now, Mrs. B, that's getting kind of personal. <laughs> I'll just say this. It was about four days ago, and yeah, you don't need to know where that where I shaved, okay? But I shaved. We just keep it at that. <laughs> Number 11. When was the last time you spent money you knew you shouldn't have? <laughs> For me, lately, every day. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree and I'm going in for one or two things and I come out with $20 worth when I was only supposed to, supposed to spend two. Every time I walk into Ross and I think, oh, I'm just going to look. Let me just do a walkthrough. And I come out with a $10 item or a $20 item. So every day for me nowadays because... I ain't got it like that. So, but that's my outlet. That's my only thing I have to do at this time is to get out. And you know when you get out, you're going to end up spending some money, right? Let's move on, shall we? Um, Number 12, when was the last time you washed your car? Um, It was... I want to say a week. My boyfriend took my car to have it washed. Uh, so a week ago. Uh, number 13. Did When was the last time you did something nice for a stranger? Um, hmm. Probably the nicest thing that I've done for a stranger was to give them a compliment. Um, if I see someone and I like their shoes or, um, I think that their hair is nice or the outfit that they're wearing is, is, uh, nice, then I'll compliment them. I don't have to know them. Um, and that's one thing that we all need to work on and not be so judgmental of people and jealous of people is to compliment them. Give compliments where they're due. If someone is dressed nice, uh, female or male, then compliment them. You're not asking the man to go out and you're not trying to throw shade at her. You're only giving them props. So it doesn't hurt to give a person a compliment. 
Number 14, when was the last time you apologized to someone and meant it? That would have to be my boyfriend. That day that I got upset with the case rep, um, I kind of lashed out at him. And I think it was a simple question he asked me. It wasn't pertaining to anything that was going on with me, but maybe I forgot. Why wasn't ice coming out of the ice the refrigerator, the ice maker on the door. I think that's the question he asked. And it was a silly reason for me to get upset, um, but I was already in that mode, and I kind of just lashed out at him. So, yeah, and it was it was really silly for me to do that. Number fifteen. When was the last time you regretted doing or saying something? that day the day that i lashed out at him because um my boyfriend is 12 years older than i am and when i tell you i couldn't have asked for a better mate um in you know my life he is a true blessing to me We've been together for a number of years. We are making plans for our future life together. And um, so I, you know, humbly apologize to him because um, the one thing that I can say about him is that he's not one that lashes out at me and... Uh, we have a, a great relationship. And um, so, yeah, I, I had to apologize for that. You know, he did not deserve uh, me lashing out at him the way that I did. And I, I regret it. But I did apologize to him. And I, I meant it from the bottom of, of my heart. And I know that he knew I meant it as well. So, anyway. I'm just putting y'all in my business, Lord. You know, Mrs. B, you and these questions, girl. Anyway, um, so that was the end of the tag. That's the 15 questions. And, Lord, I got through it without crying because I told y'all some serious stuff, okay? But um, this tag is open, and I'm going to tag a couple of people myself. Um, so let's see who I'm going to tag. Okay. So the people that I'm going to tag is going to be G my D housewife. Yes, ma'am. You've been tagged. I'm going to tag Miss Scylla Arnez. I'm tagging you again, girlfriend. And I'm also going to tag Miss No Guts, No Glory. Yes, ma'am. You have been tagged. I hope you guys participate. And if I didn't mention your name, go ahead and take part in the tag. It's very fun and um, it's something to enjoy in a way to meet other people. And I thank you again, Mrs. B, for tagging me and making me a part of this. So until next time, guys. Bye-bye.